Hey guys, it's Kate, and I wanted to come and do a quick watercolor today. So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm using my Marie's Masters watercolor palette. And I'm going to be working with some reds and yellows and oranges today. And we're going to do kind of an abstract on this paper. And so I'm going to pre-mix a couple of my colors here. I've got some orange done using my cadmium red and ye lemon yellow. I'm also going to break out some of this alizarin crimson here in my palette. And I really love these colors. They are very rich and vibrant on the page. And they've been a real pleasure to use. So I'm working with a quill brush which holds a ton of water. I've got my paper propped up a little bit on the back here and I'm just going to kind of come in with some water first and it's slightly tinted with a little bit of color that was left over on my brush but I'm going to kind of come in with some of this red Adding some orange to that. Maybe, maybe some more orange right here. And I just really love this red. And I'm going straight into the pan right now for some more color. I'm keeping my paper pretty wet because I'm not ready for it to dry yet. Since my paper's tilted, I've got a bit of a water droplet right there. And that's okay. I'm going to just make sure that I get my color dropped in where I want it up here. And I like how it almost kind of turns into a yellow in some of these spots. It's really beautiful the way the color acts. So I'm going to go into a little bit of Payne's Gray and I'm going to give it a couple little splashes just like that. A little bit of yellow ochre in a couple of spots. I'm getting it wet on my brush. And let that spread out. I'm 
I'm taking up some of this excess water from the bottom and just blotting it on my paper towel. And I'm going to come back in with some richer color here at the bottom. Alright, gonna let this dry and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I wanted to add a little bit of gold splashes to this. And so my paint is dry and I've got my brush just really in that gold paint. I'm gonna dip it a little bit in water and just make sure it's nice and on there <laughs> and maybe even add a little bit to this edge I like at, trying to find some of the natural lines in the watercolor where some of that color kind of moved together and I want to add some gold to that area. And I'm just getting a very wet brush and just kind of going around in some random places. slightly like that. And I'm going to go into some more Payne's Gray. And add a few more drips. And I'm kind of focusing it to one side and to make it the heaviest there. Okay. Okay, I'm back and I thought this might be a good opportunity to use some stencils. So I grabbed a couple that I have, and this is one that I really love, and actually I haven't even used it yet. So I'm going to grab some of my archival ink. This one is Hickory Smoke, and I really like it because it's a very subtle gray color. So I'm going to grab my blending tool and kind of get it up here. I'm going to start making it come out from the center of this. Um, but I'm going to move the center a bit off my page so that we can get the look of the stencil outside of the watercolor. And so it's a little bit staggered. And I'm 
going to make it come out a bit from this edge too. And this is a, it is a very subtle color, so it's going to take a little bit of extra scrubbing. That's nice. All right. And I'm going to have some come out from here and cross over this white area a little bit. And come out here. All right, I'm going to put this one away and I'm going to get out my purple. And this one is Dusty Concord. And I'm going to do another little pattern. Let's see. Some of these little balls. Now, see how it kind of comes up to the edge there and cuts half of them off? I don't think I'm going to use that. Or I'll try not to. <laughs> and I'm going to go a little bit easier on this because it's a darker color. But I want to kind of make it come around my white area in the middle a little bit. And I'm just going to give it a easy coat. That looks good to me. I'm going to come in here a little bit more in the center, just in these couple of extra spots. Yeah. Okay. Now, I've got this Paradise Teal, which I think will do really nicely as a complementary color to this. And I have a couple of little butterfly and flower sort of motifs. So I thought that maybe my butterfly would go well there and a little branch could come up just like this. So I think I'll do that first. Okay. And I'm going to let this come out from my watercolor again. And I'm going to go heavier on this one. And that's a strong color anyway. <laughs> I'm going to put one extra flower right here. And maybe one coming right up here. Awesome. 
and I'm gonna have my butterfly right here. And the nice thing is it's it's a bit over that gold and so some of that will kind of shine through on the butterfly. I think that looks awesome. <laughs> now let's get some white in here. I've got my jelly roll and I'm just going to go around a couple of these things. Just make sure make sure this works. And I'm just going around very easily. Kind of scribbly. like that and I'm gonna do the same thing for my butterfly a bit and just make it stand out a little bit more just like that Now, real quick, I'm going to grab that gold paint again, and I'm going to put a few more little dots. I think it's still, yeah, it's still wet. So, I'm just going to kind of go around the outside of this butterfly in a couple little spots. just around the outside of the wings and then also in the end of each of these little flower petals. Great. Why don't we just put a few little dots out here, almost like we're framing it. And give this little branch a ground. Just 
just like that. I love it. <laughs> okay, let me give you a close up. I think there's a lot of good values here, a lot of good color. And you can see some of that gold sparkle even through where the butterfly is and where there is ink on top of the watercolor. But I love how this turned out and I love the richness of the color. So I hope you joined along with me today, grabbed any stencils that you had on hand and had a good time. And until next time, keep creating.